All right, you guys, I've had it, that's it. Say goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Gotta cut your losses. Bye bye, Black Beast. She's gotta go. It's time. I've had the truck too short of a time and she's cost me too much money. And unfortunately she hasn't made me enough. And at some point you just gotta cut your losses. Yeah, let's go. All right, you guys, so as much as I love this truck, you know, I bought it for a particular reason, and unfortunately, that didn't work out. Uh, and it cost me a lot of money to have this truck sitting at my house. Uh, it's actually pretty much been a spare truck, so it's not been necessarily a bad thing. But if we look at the numbers, <sighs> it has cost me more to own this truck then the truck has actually made me. I bought the truck over a year ago with 167,000 miles on it and she now has 188,000 miles on it. So in over a year I only put 2,000 miles, 20,000 miles on this truck and so that tells you obviously I wasn't running it very much. Um, it seems like every time I have hired somebody on and then I need to actually utilize this truck it's been um, one small thing or another and uh, that is the case again today so we're about to go remedy that Lexi and I say hi Lexi <laughs> Ruben uh, Ruben went fishing <laughs> it's Sunday he went fishing with his brothers and uh, I'm here working I had Zoom meetings all this morning and uh, you know, my, my wonderful mechanic Bob took the auxiliary tank that I just put on this truck. He took it off this truck. <sighs> I did invoice reconciliation this morning. I mean, just all kinds of stuff, but just all kinds of stuff, you guys. It's just been crazy. So let's go fix this problem. There is never a problem that we can't fix. You always have to be solution minded and as much as I like this truck it's time to cut my losses and let's go find a solution to my current issue. All right here we are here we are. Ooh, where am I gonna park this thing? Let me see let me see let me see let me see let me check it out check it out. Oh, let me see let me see. No space for me there, no space for me there. Found one. Found one. Let's we'll squeeze in here. Alright, let's go see what we can find here. Alright, here she is, boys and girls. Bam! 2022 F350 XLT but she's got like twenty thousand dollars worth of upgrades on her many 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 of which i did not need but you know trucks are in short supply and you you get what you get unless you special order it which i do strongly suggest to you guys and girls out there if you are looking at getting into this business um really try and really really try and um special order your vehicle if at all possible so let's go inside and let's take a look at all this fancy stuff i already got tools in it <laughs> so yes traded in the uh traded in the 2016 f350 i got a good trade-in price for it not as good as i wanted but it is what it is and we've got chrome chrome wheels and a lot of chrome on this truck a lot more chrome than the white, the She Beast that I have, uh, which is also an XLT, you guys. But this one has a lot more package, a lot more package upgrades. Uh, 53, 53 miles, not 53,000, you guys. 53 miles on the truck. She smells great. Let's turn her on. Uh, 
All right, let me close my door. Same big screen, same big screen on uh, this truck, but I've got seat warmers and I've got captain's chairs. There you go. I've got captain's chairs in front, which is very, very nice. All kinds of space in this truck. Really, really, really neat. Uh, if we go through all of this, basically the same. I've got, you know, trips and fuel. I've got towing settings that I can change in here. I've got an off, you know, obviously it's a, it's a four by four. I got the off-road stuff I can mess with. I got settings. So that's really cool. Diesel. It is a four by four. It is a dually. It's even got a, uh, the little window in the back. See that? Got that little window in the back, you guys. So really, really pleased. I'm really, really pleased with this truck. I'm pleased with the purchase. I'm pleased with uh, the trade-in that I got. You know, I got a good trade-in value for the black truck. Um, I'm not pleased with the price. I did still pay about, I think it was about $8,000 over MSRP for this truck. I did do some haggling, um, but I did, you know, overpay for this truck like I was telling you guys in other videos like trucks are hard to come by right now and actually the dealership didn't even know that they had this truck on the lot for sale it just so happened that I was pushing them and pushing them <laughs> and then they they found one so isn't that convenient they found one um, not the one that I found online that was 61,000 no 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 this one with $20,000 worth of upgrades whatever but I've got a new truck it is definitely reliable you know everything on it is brand new I got the extended warranty on it I strongly suggest you guys do that get the longest extended warranty that you possibly can um, because just in case because just in case right so we never know and uh, so I got that on here what else so now I'm I'm really really comfortable in this truck to uh, go anywhere I want to go and to um, finish up training Ruben and I'm not sure if Joe's gonna take this truck over eventually which probably that will be the case and we'll eventually swap down the line but uh, for now Ruben will test he'll take a CDL test in this truck and uh, we will train in this truck and I'm really looking forward to that he's still out fishing so uh, I know he's gonna be very happy to see the truck he's, he was very excited yesterday he wanted me to show him pictures and everything so uh, very 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 fortunate to have found the truck I feel a lot more comfortable now um, I was not 100% sure with the black truck taking it, you know, taking it for, for really long trips and I didn't want to get stuck anywhere. So now um, I don't have to worry about that. Yes, I am paying that. Yes, that comes at a cost. Whether you, you know, rent from Enterprise or whether you buy new, uh, it comes at a cost to uh, run new equipment. So, um, but it, it is very good. You know, the black truck, I, I purchased it at a time that I thought I was ready to grow and unfortunately the plan that I had did not work out and I ended up kind of sitting on that truck for about seven months before I was actually ready really ready to to take that step to grow and to expand the business and to hire drivers and stuff like that so as a result of me purchasing it before I was actually really ready to grow um, it cost me a lot of money to own that truck um, and unfortunately I had an insurance policy at the time that I could not um, put the insurance on hold and that is a big 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 pro tip you guys if you are getting commercial insurance Please double check with them if your truck goes down or if you go on vacation for a month or out of the country or whatever the case, check and ask your brokers, you guys, if you can place the insurance on hold if you promise that the truck is not going to move and it is in a secured lot. So um, unfortunately for me, I was in a policy where I thought 
I was going to have, or I thought I did have that option, and I did not. So I paid, oh gosh, probably $22,000 or more worth of insurance just to have that truck the majority of the time, just to have the black truck sitting at my house. And um, that combined with, you know, repairs, combined with um, plates and taxes and, you know, all of the other stuff. Um, even at, I ran the truck, I owned the truck for over a year, for 15 months, and I only put 20,000 miles on it. So even if we say I earned $2 a mile for 20,000 miles, that means that I would have grossed, grossed $40,000. The truck cost me 30,000 plus tax plus registration and then repairs and maintenance and tires and all of that good stuff and then insurance which was like I said over 22,000 so when you compare those two numbers right about 40,000 for the truck in all and then uh, about 22 or more thousand to you know to have insurance on it that's over sixty thousand dollars and even at two dollars a mile which I know I did not you know a lot of those miles were just running around town and you know I, they weren't loaded miles for those 20,000 miles that I put on that truck but even at 20,000 mile even at two dollars a mile for 20,000 miles that's only 40 grand so when you look at those two numbers at best I am out $20,000. That's the best case scenario that I lost $20,000 on that truck. And that was simply because I purchased it. Like I said, I had a plan and I purchased it at one point in time. And then that plan fell through and I, and I ended up taking several, several months, six or seven months before I was actually ready to hire on another driver. So that being said, it is good to grow, but make sure you have all your ducks in a line when you do want to grow because um, if not you'll be like me and you're out tens of thousands of dollars so uh, that is my experience for you guys this is my new beautiful truck I love it Lexi's jealous she <laughs> she went to the dealership with me and she was like I'm jealous you're you're gonna take Reuben on the road and I I have to stay home and you know you guys are gonna go in the new truck and <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we have to train like, you know, so she's very jealous, um, but it is, it's a, it's a beautiful truck. I'm very pleased and i um, looking forward to taking her out on the road and I will um, share some more stuff about this truck and the uh, videos to come. You guys, thank you so much for watching.